This Good Morning Northwest Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. It is 6.53. Time to get you ready to take on your Thursday with the morning sprint. Yes, fire season is getting started. Destiny Richards is live giving us a look at the Coeur d'Alene Fire Department's new fire boat. Sydney Charles has details on concerns across the country that the U.S. could default on its debt one week from today. But we'll have plenty of sunshine today, so let's get to Mark in that forecast. All right, good morning, everybody. Yeah, in our first alert weather, things are really looking good. We're going to have temperatures into the mid-70s. Uh, Ritzville, you're going to be at 76 degrees today. Heading west, you're going to have temperatures around 80, Moses Lake, and then into Wenatchee. Uh, down south, low 80s, Tri-Cities into the LC Valley. Satellite and radar, OMAC picking up a little shower activity this morning in that area, but the rest of us are looking pretty good. Our forecast, looking great. We're going to see, again, some afternoon clouds coming in uh, after lunch, but our high today is going to be 70. 74 degrees. A two-year-old is in critical condition this morning. His mom and brothers were hit by a car in Spokane Valley Tuesday night. Washington State Patrol says the family was crossing Highway 27 when they were hit. Amanda Hendricks and her three boys were taken to the hospital. She and two of the boys are expected to be okay, but two-and-a-half-year-old Thor is fighting for his life. At the crash scene, first responders say he didn't have a pulse when someone started chest compressions on him. Thor's dad, Joshua Hendricks, says if CPR hadn't been given on scene, it may have been a whole different story. For now, though, it's a waiting game. You can find out what else Joshua told 4 News Now on KXLY.com. The father of a man accused of killing four University of Idaho students is supposed to testify before an investigative grand jury today in Pennsylvania. According to CNN, Brian Koberger's mother has already testified. It is unclear what potential crime the grand jury is investigating, but their testimony can be shared with prosecutors in Idaho. We are now learning that the body of a teenage girl found in Yakima County last month was 17-year-old from Spokane. Yakima County Sheriff's deputies say a man in the town of Mapton found the body of someone shot in the head on his property on April 30th. The coroner's office confirmed Samantha Kalinchuk died of a single gunshot wound. The detectives are treating this as homicide. No arrests have been made yet. Kalinchuk was a former Mount Spokane High School student. The principal released a statement saying that she was a kind and thoughtful student. She enjoyed graphic design, science courses, basketball, and was an avid Houston Astros fan. We will miss Samantha greatly, and she will hold a special place in our hearts. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy is set to send the House home after votes are held today, signaling that debt negotiations with the White House will continue as the risk of a first ever default grows. And the U.S. is now only one week out from the default deadline and there's still no deal in place. As a result, one of the major credit rating agencies has now put the country's AAA credit rating on a negative watch. It's a warning that the top-notch credit worthiness of the U.S. is at risk. Coverage of the, on the debt default will continue coming up next on Good Morning America. Portland is investigating threats made to Lake City High. The district says screenshots of the threat were shared on social media. Out of caution, more police were placed at Lake City for yesterday's school day. The district says it and its law enforcement partners take all threats of violence seriously and will continue to investigate that threat. The Spokane Public School Board wants to use bonds to fund four elementary school replacements and a remodel for others. It was the main topic at last night's board meeting. The district wants to replace Adams, Balboa, Madison, and Indian Trail Elementary Schools. If the final bond proposal stays at $200 million or less, your property taxes won't go up. The board has set its eyes on February of next year for a special election to vote on a school bond. And we've been live on Lake Coeur d'Alene this morning talking all about the Coeur d'Alene Fire Department's Fire Boat 3 and its new home near McEwen Park right behind Coeur d'Alene Resort. This new location is so they can respond quicker to areas they respond to the most, mostly around Tubbs Hill. They can respond to people who may be injured, wildfires, lakefront home fires, even water rescues here. So just make sure to be careful when you're recreating around Memorial Day weekend. Bears are coming out of hibernation and looking for some easy food. Fish and Wildlife agents are warning you to be careful when you're camping or hiking. Fish and Wildlife says if you come across a bear, do not run. You should try to remain still and make loud noises and try to scare the bear away. Fish and Wildlife also recommends putting away your bird feeder this time of year and keeping trash cans inside at night. 
The 42nd annual Pig Out in the Park returns to Riverfront Park on August 30th through September 4th. In addition to the dozens of food vendors, this year will be more than 100 performances across four stages. And every day from 3 to 5 p.m. and 8 to 10 p.m., all Pig Out booths will offer special $6 bite items from their menus. We'll check weather next.